This video will show you how to create a combination bar and line chart in Excel 2007. Here in column B of my spreadsheet I have some sales data by state and in column C I have the sales growth. Let's say I want the sales data to appear as columns in a chart and the growth figures to appear as a line above the bars. In order to do that what I actually need to do is first create the column chart and then change the chart type for the growth figures to a line chart. So here's how I do that. Firstly I'm going to select the entire data set by clicking and dragging. To insert a chart I then come to the insert tab and select the type of chart I want which in this case is a column chart and then select the type of column chart I want and for this example I will just use the basic 2D column chart. You can see here that the column chart is appearing and according to the legend over here it is displaying both the sales figures and the growth figures. We can see the sales figures represented by the blue bars easily enough but we can't see the growth figures and the reason for that is that the growth figures are very small relative to the scale that appears here on the Y axis. So for example the growth figure for New South Wales of 5% which as you know is the same as 0.05 in a number format is being plotted on a scale that goes as large as 14,000. So that 0.05 number is going to be somewhere right down the bottom here and it is not even registering on the chart as a result. To get around that I will plot the growth figures on a secondary axis and I'll do that first before I change it to a line chart. To plot the growth figures on a second axis I need to first select that data set. It's really hard to select something that you can't see so what I'm going to do is come up to the layout tab on the ribbon. Now if these three tabs here aren't displaying for you it simply means that you haven't selected the chart to make it active. So click anywhere on the chart and these three tabs should appear. So I'm in the Layout tab and over on the left hand side here there is a little drop down box that allows me to select the Growth data set. If I click on the drop down arrow and then select Series Growth, you'll then see here on the chart itself that there are some data points which have been selected. While those data points are selected, I then click on Format Selection in the top left hand corner and the following Format Data Series dialog box appears. Down the bottom here it allows me to select the axis on which the data series is, is plotted. You can see that the data set is currently plotted on the primary axis so all I need to do is change that to the secondary axis and then click on close. You can see now that the growth figures are appearing and there is a second axis over on the right hand side here against which the growth figures have been plotted. Now the last and final step is to change these red bars here so that they appear as a line. To do that I again need to select the growth data set. So again in the layout tab from the drop down list in the top left hand corner I select series growth. Now you have to be careful not to click anywhere else on the spreadsheet afterwards otherwise it will deselect that data set. So while the growth data set is still selected I then immediately click on the design tab and then click on change chart type over on the left hand side. If I then select line from the available options and click on OK it should then display my growth numbers as a line chart while my sales figures are still appearing as a column chart. Now don't forget there's a number of quick and easy formatting options in the chart styles area here of the design tab. So you can just select any of the options you like the look of and it will format your chart to look like that. Also the layout tab here will give you some further options to add to your chart. So let me just add a title by clicking on chart title and I will select above chart. I can then place my cursor in this chart title area and type whatever I want to call it. Similarly if I want to add data labels I first need to click on the data set so let me just click on the line that represents the growth figures and then again in the layout tab click on the data labels button and select where I want the data labels to appear. You can see the growth figures now appearing above the line chart. 
That's all I have to show you in this tutorial, but I hope you found it useful.